have this friend, and he's got a Chinese girlfriend. Ooh. And she takes him to this Sichuan restaurant to try the food there. So at the restaurant, they ask him, what level of spice do you want? So his girlfriend's with him. He wants to show off. Oh, I can take anything. Give me level five spice. That's the maximum. So the food comes. It's chili and noodles. So he puts his spoon into the noodles and takes it out. What does he see? He sees this. So much chili. This is what level five spice looks like. Now he's a little bit worried, but his girlfriend's watching him. <laughs> like a bomb going off in his mouth. Now why is that? What makes chili so special? What makes it so different from, let's say, cabbages? Well, all chilies contain a special substance known as capsaicin. Capsaicin is an oily compound. It stimulates the heat and pain receptors in your tongue. So it fools your brain, and your brain thinks, oh my god, the tongue is on fire. And then the natural responses to pain kick in. Your brain causes your eyes to tear, you have a runny nose, and it increases your metabolism. Now, I'm the kind of guy who likes spicy food. I like a moderate amount of chili in my food. But a lot of people tell me, don't do that. Don't eat spicy food. Don't eat chili. It'll help you have ulcers. I tell them, no, that's a myth. Two Australian scientists actually did research on this topic, and they found that spices and chili do not cause ulcers. Ulcers are caused by a kind of bacteria. So don't let the fear of ulcers stop you, because chili is actually very, very good for your health. It has very little fat. It has a lot of vitamin A, plenty of antioxidants. And did you know, gram for gram, this has more vitamin C than this. This is the champion spice. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll have you one more thing about chili. Scientists have conducted research on this and found that it helps fight certain kinds of cancer. So it really is the champion. Now, I see that a lot of you are interested. Maybe you want to try some of these chilies, huh? And maybe you want some water just in case it gets a little too hot. Well, I'll tell you here and now, don't waste your time. Water never helps with chili burns. That's because chili contains capsaicin, which is oily, and oil and water just doesn't mix. So if you're better off using milk. The fats in milk will help dissolve capsaicin and carry it away. So ladies and gentlemen, remember that when you're in a Sichuan restaurant. Milk. Thank you.